Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to Lightning Gaming. So today we're turning this bridge into the ultimate OP road base. It's gonna be an end game road base guys. We're gonna drop the zombies straight down into the river. And yeah, you're gonna be able to set up here, shoot them, kill them, any which way you like. It will just be very, very OP. So first up, we're gonna dig out some holes on the bridge. I'm just gonna dig out the one, then I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna want something like this guys, you can make it bigger if you want, you can make it smaller, it doesn't really matter. Ah, incoming bear, let me just kill him real quick. Come closer, come closer a little bear, okay. So once you're done with that guys, we're gonna start by putting up two walls, one on both sides. Like this, there we go. Okay, you're just gonna make that three blocks high, that's all you'll need. Okay, so once you got the two walls up guys, first up what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig out a couple of blocks on each side. Now guys, the reason we have to dig this out, we will be putting up another wall on all four of the corners. This is only so that zombies don't run past the entire trap, because sometimes what happens is they will go in behind the wall and they will just start attacking it. So yeah, make sure you got that right. So let's just take out this block over here and we should be good. Okay, now we can just place the solid blocks, same height as the main walls in the middle, so it's gonna be three blocks, just like this. Okay, so that, just do this on all of the corners, and we can move on to the next step. So once you've got the corner wall set up guys, we're just gonna put up some ramps. We're gonna put up a ramp in both sides, cause the main aim of this whole build is we gonna, it must be able to handle zombies coming from every side so that we don't have to struggle with zombies getting stuck. Our main base will be in the middle, so yeah, you're just gonna bolt a ramp just like this. Let's get over to stairs. There we go. Okay, so we'll just do this all the way to the top. Now zombies will be able to run up easily. They will drop down straight into the middle, into the river. Okay, so once you're done with that guys, and you did it on both sides, we're gonna go on with the main belt. This is where you, the base will be at, where you'll be sitting at during road night. So right in the middle, you're just gonna place one layer like that. Now we're gonna stack this up a couple of blocks. You can make this as high as you want. The higher you have, the more rains you will have. So yeah, let's just stack this up real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna add in this one more block and it will be high enough for me. Okay, so next up guys, let me just add in one more layer. I'm just afraid the zombies will get stuck, so it's better to have it high enough. Okay, so now we're just gonna put the pillar on each corner. This is only for support and so that we can cover the entire thing. So you're gonna add in one pillar on each corner. Gonna make it same height and you're just gonna connect it by simply doing this. There we go, just adding another block. Okay, so you're gonna connect all of them like this. I'm just gonna skip to the end of that because that takes quite a little bit of time. Okay, so now you basically look like this, guys. And now for the next step, we're just gonna finish up setting the inside. So you're gonna go to each corner of the stairs, pillar it up. This is so that the zombies can't get in between. We'll fill up the walls a little later. So you're just gonna do this on each and every corner, like that, and then you're just gonna close it up. So do this in the other on the other side as well, guys, and we can move on to the next step. Okay, guys, so once you're done putting up the frame, it's gonna look something like this. Now for the next step, guys, we're just gonna move on. We're gonna put some more blocks in the middle, like this, and three more on the other side. This will be the platform you'll be standing on during all night. You will have full rains all around, but I'll show you how to get that right in a couple of seconds. Now let's move on to catwalks. There we go, scaffoldings I mean. And now you're gonna place the scaffoldings all the way guys, you're gonna fill in all the spaces. Let me just get the rotation right over here, there we go. Now you're only gonna leave one spot open where we'll place the ladder, but I made a little mistake, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. So you're gonna place them upside down like this. Now you're gonna leave one space open at the corner block right over there because we're gonna have to take out that corner block because we're gonna have to put up a ladder in both sides. So as you can see guys, you're gonna fill everything up except for that one block. 
Let me just build the other side as well. I'm just gonna skip to the end of that. Okay guys, so as you can see, I filled everything up except for that corner part. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take, I'm just gonna take out those two blocks. Let me just get here on the side. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take out this block right over here. And the same one on the other side right over here. Remember to not to place them if you try to build this. Okay, so I took them out guys. So now basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna put up some ladders right over here in both sides. This is only so that the zombies think they have a clear path, but we will influence that and they won't have a clear path. But yeah, so you're gonna need the ladder and you can also use the ladders for your own use to access your old base. So once you got the ladders up, we're gonna switch over to solid blocks and now you're gonna fill in both those lines over here. We're gonna make some walls. So you're gonna fill in the middle part like this. I'm just gonna do the one wall, then I'll skip the other one. Okay, so just like that. This is only so that they can't glitch around the pillars and they have nowhere else to go. And then you're gonna fill in this middle part as well. On all four of the corners. Okay guys, so once you're done filling up all the walls, we're gonna do the dropper real quick. So you're gonna use the wet 60 tap. You're gonna put it on the opposite opposite wall than your ladder. So you're gonna place it right over here. Let me rotate it right, there we go. So it's gonna be three of those. And then you're gonna place another one right next to the ladder. Now guys, this is only so to complete the zombies path. They're gonna think they're gonna be able to get over there and get to the ladder. So just place it like that. And now we're gonna go to the half cubes. And we're just gonna fill the side up all the way to the roof. Rotation, there we go. So you're just gonna place this all the way to the top. Now zombies think they're gonna be able to access that ladder, but in reality they won't. They will just drop down into the canyon and into the river. Okay, so once you're done with that guys, the only thing left to do is to put up a zombie force field at the feet of your stairs. So all you're gonna have to do to do that is you're just gonna dig out one block straight through. Just get this one out real quick. Pickaxe usually works the best because it does the same amount of damage against the blocks. So let's just take out all of these blocks. This one here and then also the railing. There we go, 5k HP over here, that's quite a lot, but that's fine. If you really want to, you can. Okay, then I'm just gonna have to take out this one final piece. Now what this is gonna do guys, is that they won't be able to access the sides of your stairs. So this is really important. Once you're done with that, you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna place your half whole cubes. We're gonna go right over here, yes the cube of one meter and you're gonna place that straight through now zombies won't cross these guys cause it's like a force field to them so that's very important it will block them off and then you're just gonna remove these railings on the sides cause sometimes they run over the railings and you don't want that so remember to remove all those railings okay so when we are finally done with that step guys we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna place some scaffoldings, three scaffoldings, one at each entrance. Let me just head to the other side as well. Now, the reason for this is we're gonna stack it up three blocks high. It's only so that you're gonna be able to start shooting the zombies from a little bit of further distance. So now you're just gonna head up there. And you're just gonna stack it up three blocks high. Let me get to that real quick. There we go. One block. Okay, I'm just gonna do two blocks, then I'm gonna place a solid block right on top of it. Because we're gonna have to put a roof on this entire thing now, that will be our next mission. So yeah, just fill up the scaffoldings and then we can start filling up the roof. Just get this last one, there we go. That's the final piece. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use solid blocks and I'm just gonna fill up the entire structure stop. You're gonna make it three blocks high so that you can walk around on the inside, but you cover it up from all vulture attacks. Then guys, you're gonna have to add some spikes on the roof of this whole structure just to keep the vultures at bay. They won't attack you if you have spikes up, they will just get killed. So yeah, let me just finish up this real quick. 
So that is basically what it it's gonna look like, guys. And you're just gonna go all around with this wall. There we go. Okay, so our hot base is finally finished, guys. As you can see, you have clear view on both sides. You're gonna be able to shoot them as they go to the top. Now let's just skip to hot night and see what happens with this ball. Okay, guys. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna keep falling down into the spot. They will get stuck a little bit on the edges, but that's fine. They will just end up all falling down into this hole, guys, and they will be stuck underneath in the rubber. I'll show you that in a sec. Let me just kill this fat guy. So basically what's gonna happen when they fall down, they're gonna be stuck like this in the river, guys. They're not gonna attack anything. The entire road will just be sitting in here and you can just sit up here and snipe them. Very, very OP. You can make them a path if you want to using some stairs or using some ladders, but I would just leave them just like this. So you can set up here and snipe them. Very, very OP. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and to hit the subscribe button. Till next time guys, thanks for watching. Cheers. See ya.